So a text expander is nothing new, but I just found out about it and it's just so amazing that it's insane. Let's talk about that. Honestly, if you're a professional of any kind and you happen to write the same thing over and over again, whether it's your name, your phone number, your email address, or just anything that, that is specific to your job, you're wasting so much time typing the same thing over and over again that you might just start counting that time in years over a lifetime instead of minutes or seconds. But I think there's a better way of doing that and it's called a text. A text is a simple application that is available for free from Microsoft App Store and it's paid on the Mac App Store but that's a you problem, not a me problem. So live with your choices, I guess. Well, it's free for Windows users, and if you haven't used it in the past, and if you haven't given a shot, I don't even want you to watch this video. Go ahead and try that software. Anyways, I wanted to make this video to show you my setup of the Text Expander. And I think there's a lot of things that are common between a lot of people, and this should definitely help you set up yours. The way I have set up mine is divided in three groups or containers. The first one is general personal actions. Next is everything email and internet related. And the last one contains phrases that I use in email communication. Let's look at personal actions first. This section is something that expands as soon as I write the custom phrase. There's no need to retain the custom phrase when the expansion has been inserted, so it doesn't retain that either. I like to use a special character or a symbol before my custom phrase, so I don't replace something that I don't intend to replace. In this case, I use the tilde symbol. Uh, tilde, tilde, however you say it, it's the symbol. The first thing here is my name. Since my name is 14 letters long, I have abbreviated to a two letter word called NM. And then there are some stupid websites that have the first and the last name separated out. So I have to separate those out. So for those, I have FN and LN. I've also put my full address and the street address in a similar manner. Sad for full address, sad for street address. Obviously this is not my real address, so don't be weird in the comments. I also have my phone number in here, not a real phone number again. But for phone number, I've chosen not to use the special character. Instead, I use the first three digits of my phone number. I have chosen to do that because a lot of websites won't actually let you put in anything other than numbers, especially special characters in the phone number field. And then I have a few basic ones, BSME for Bachelor of Science in Mechanical Engineering, TTU for Texas Tech University, the university I went to, ME for Mechanical Engineering. I also have a few simple ones to identify the day and times. So I have today, tomorrow, next week, yesterday, and now. Under the email and internet group, I've used at as an identifier before the custom phrase. I have two Gmail accounts that are accessible with custom phrase at G1 and at G2. Similarly, I can type out my outlook.com and yahoo.com emails as well. I'm currently actively seeking positions for mechanical engineers right now, so I have a standard email that I send to recruiters. The subject for that kind of email can be accessed using our sub and the email body can be accessed using our mail. The body of this email is kind of interesting because it's written in a rich text format. So when I write an email, so whatever is bold remains bold when the text expansion is inserted. Another thing that you might notice that there's a custom field right next to hi. That's when this actually asks me for the name of the recruiter that I'm sending this email to. So it actually automatically inserts those things wherever the variable has been used. It's really a time saver. You should definitely give it a shot if you haven't already. And then there's one that has saved me more times than I care to admit or would like to admit. So every time I type out the word attached in my email application, it invokes the shortcut to attach files. This is a godsend. And if you don't think that you need this and you are better than me, you do. Let's talk about the miscellaneous group. So this is something that is just meant for me, I believe. Uh, it has a lot of phrases that I use in common communication. So this has just some things that I say more often than not. So the way I went about it is like, I went back to a few days worth of text messages and identified a few phrases I say very often and I made snippets for those. And the ones that I came up with are the followings. IMO for In My Opinion, GS9 for Galaxy S9, SP6 for Surface Pro 6, IDK for I Don't Know, IDC for I Don't Care, NP for No Problem, SGS for Sounds Good, See You Then, and last one, Bye Best, for thank you, you are the best. Speaking of which, thank you for watching. If this video helped you in any way possible, please hit the like button. And if you want more videos like these, please hit the subscribe button. Anyways, thank you for watching. This is Guy.